So dear audience, I would like to talk about the role of the phospholipase IPC gamma 2 in the neutrophil activation induced by the monosodium urate crystals. First of all, what is gouty arthritis? This is an inflammatory arthritis that is very painful. The word arthritis means the inflammation of the joints. The symptoms of the affected joints may include redness, swelling, pain, and heat. And there are times when the symptoms get worse, known as flares, and uh, times when there are no symptoms, known as remission. The flares or gout attacks are very painful and can occur suddenly, often waking up the patient in the middle of the night with the sensation that their big toe is on fire. Uh, gout affects uh, nearly uh, one to two percent of the population, which means that just in Hungary, more than 100,000 people are affected with the gout. Gout is due to the persistently elevated level of the uric acid at the blood. At high levels, uric acid crystallizes, and the formed crystals deposit in the joints and in the surrounding tissues. Urate crystals activate the cells of the innate immune system, mainly the neutrophils. Neutrophils are phagocytes and known to be the most abundant uh, immune cells in our body. Uh, the urate crystals induce many uh, specific effector responses of the neutrophils, and from these, I would like to emphasize three important mechanisms. The first one is superoxide, or ROS production. ROS stands for reactive oxygen species. These oxygen radicals are generated by the neutrophils from oxygen, and they can help the neutrophils in their bacteria-killing processes. The second one is cytokine release. Cytokines are small proteins uh, which have a very significant uh, signaling role in the immune system. When neutrophils release cytokines, they are sending signal to other immune cells and neutrophils. The neutrophils will be activated and will migrate towards the origin of the signal. Therefore, more and more neutrophils will accumulate at the site of the inflammation, and eventually the immune response will be enhanced. The third one is the process of netosis, which is a very unique process. This is an alternative type of cell death, which is typical for the neutrophils. During the process, the cells externalize their DNA and form the so-called uh, nets or neutrophil extracellular taps. Um, we can describe this mechanism uh, like the neutrophils shoot a sticky web, a web uh, towards the pathogens and trap them into their own uh, DNA. The activation of the neutrophils at first sight is very beneficial for our body. The microbe-killing activity is essential during fighting infections. However, uh, the activation of the neutrophils is like a double-edged sword. Uh, their inadequate ac uh, activation can easily lead to inflammation and tissue damage. And for example, in the case of the gouty arthritis, the main reason of the gout attacks is the improper activation of the neutrophils. Therefore, if we could inhibit the activation of the neutrophils, we could treat the gout effects. To reach this goal, uh, first we should uh, understand the molecular mechanism of the activation of the neutrophils. In the, research, in the recent years, our research group has investigated in several disease models uh, which uh, signaling pathways have an important role in the activation of the neutrophils. The stimuli are recognized by membrane receptors, and based on our lab earlier results, in many cases, this leads to the activation of tyrosine kinase mediated signaling pathways. The phospholipase C gamma 2, or the PLC gamma 2, is a crucial downstream element of this pathway. And in the absence of the PLC gamma 2, uh, in, the case of the many, uh, in the case of many uh, stimuli, uh, uh, cannot induce the activation of the neutrophils. But in uh, monosodium urate crystal induced activation, the signaling pathways which leads to the activation of the neutrophils are still unknown. Therefore, our main purpose was to examine whether this previously observed and crucial downstream role of the phospholipase C gamma 2 can also be found in the case of the monosodium urate crystal induced activation of the neutrophils. To answer this question, we performed the following experiments. From uh, we used Y-type or PLC gamma-2 deficient mice uh, for our experiments. In uh, the PLC gamma-2 deficient mice, the gene of the PLC gamma-2 was, deleti was deleted through uh, transgenic uh, methods. Neutrophils were isolated from the mice, and they were uh, stimulated by urate crystals. 
and the cell responses were measured through several in vitro experiments. Uh, we used luminometry uh, to measure the superoxide production. Uh, the, uh, the cytokine release was measured by the ELISA method, and we used uh, a fluorescent video microscopic method to observe the process of netosis. Um, we examined the superoxide production of the cells. Uh, for this, uh, we placed the cells in a luminometer for one hour, and um, uh, the uh, and the, the the superoxide and the luminescent signal resulting from the superoxide production uh, was measured. As you can see, the urate crystals the urate crystals induced a significant superoxide production in the Y-type cells. But in the PLC gamma two deficient neutrophils, the urate crystals were almost unable to induce the activation of the neutrophils uh, and the superoxide production of the neutrophils. We examined the cytokine release of the cells. For this, we placed the cells uh, uh, in the presence of the urate crystals for six hours. And from cell-free supernatant, we determined the amount of the release uh, IL-1 beta. Uh, this cytokine known to have a significant role in the, uh, in the gouty inflammation, so its level is very informative for us. As you can see, in the case of the Y-type uh, neutrophils, the urate crystals induced a significant IL-1 beta release. But in the PLC gamma-2 deficient neutrophils, the amount of the release IL-1 beta was dramatically reduced. We also examined the MIP-2 release of the cells. This is a chemokine which has a great impact on the neutrophils migration. And we found a similarly significant decrease in the PLC gamma-2 deficient neutrophils. As I mentioned before, we used the fluorescent video microscopic method to, uh, to observe the process of netosis. For this, first we stained the cells with fluorescent DNA dyes. The DNA dye called HUX was used to stain the nuclei as it can go through the membranes. But the DNA dye called Cytox Green is not able to go through the membrane, so it could only stain the DNA which entered the extracellular space. As you can see over time, we detected a significant green fluorescent signal which was clearly formed around the group of crystals. As you can see, for example, here or here. So it can be stated that the urate crystals induced the process of netosis. The observation was made for three hours, and during this, for every 10 minutes, a picture was taken from the cells. Playing these Im images after each other, uh, we can observe the kinetics of the process. As you can see, uh, the signal increases both in intensity and in space over time. After that, we would like to examine how this process change in the PLC gamma-2 deficient neutrophils. And surprisingly, we found that despite the other two processes, the, the urate crystals could induce the process of netosis also in the PLC gamma-2 def uh, deficient uh, neutrophils. And we found just a, a minimal difference between the two genotypes. To quantify these changes, we performed a computer analysis of the microscopic images. We examined the area of the four nets, and we found the same minimal difference between the two genotypes, but these differences uh, was not significant in any cases. So in conclusion, it can be stated that the phospholipid C gamma 2 has a significant role in the urate crystal-induced superoxide production and cytokine release, but uh, the phosphor IPC gamma 2 does not have a role in the urease crystal induced process of netosis. These results may contribute to the better understanding of the pattern mechanism of the gout. I'm thankful for my mentors, for Christina Futoshi and Attila Mochei, and for Aaron Panzer for his help in the microscopic uh, analysis, and for every member of my research group. And uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Shimon, for the very nicely explained and logical uh, talk. And now we would like to give you the certificate.